everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to a huge clear out vlog so i have been feeling recently like i need to have a massive clear out i need to go through everything i need to go through every single drawer i have got stuff that has been piling up in my both my bedroom and my bathroom for goodness knows how long and i've just got stuff everywhere nothing has a place i feel like everything needs a really deep clean so i've dedicated today to do that I have already cleaned my room and cleaned my bathroom. I will need to hoover again because the dust that comes from everywhere is crazy. So yeah, I've already cleaned my bathroom, but I need to go through one, two, three, about four or five drawers in there, all my skincare, all my hair care products, that kind of stuff. And I also want to go through my wardrobe and quite a few of my drawers, like my makeup drawer, my hair drawer the drawers under my bed as well. So that is the task for today. I am sitting down right now because I was out of breath because I've just pulled out my bed and this chest of drawers behind me and like cleaned and hoovered behind them. And I was gonna film that, but to be honest, it was kind of gross. So I'm glad I didn't. Um, it's been way too long since I've done that properly. So it was definitely overdue. The plan of action right now is to tackle my wardrobe first. Um, I'm gonna have a pile of stuff I'm keeping, obviously a pile of stuff that is going to vintage and a pile of stuff that has got to go to charity or maybe it's not even good enough quality for that, maybe it'll need to be binned, I don't know. That is the plan, I'm gonna tackle the wardrobe first and then makeup and then hair and then skincare in the bathroom. So I thought it would be quite fun to vlog. I know you guys love it when I do my wardrobe switchover videos, which will be coming soon. So I thought that I would vlog this for you hopefully it's fun and um you can get some ideas of how i do things and how i organize things because i don't actually have we do have a spare room in our house but i don't really want to dump all my stuff in there so i'm lucky to have a huge space in both my bedroom and my bathroom um but storage in this house is quite limited so maybe i can give you guys some ideas of how i make the most of the space but let's get on with it so this is the current state of my wardrobe everything is a bit all over the place the shoes down the bottom are an absolute nightmare so that's the main priority and then we have this side as well i mean it's not too bad it's not all over the place but if you can hear that as maple squeaking a toy dance test but i do just need to go through it all um there may be some stuff in here that i want to get rid of so what i'm going to do is take everything out and lay it on my bed i've got a few bits out here already which i need to put on hangers i'm going to lay it on my bed in categories go through everything as i take it out then i'll be able to see all my shoes better at the bottom go through them I'm gonna then hoover the drawers at the bottom that I've got my shoes on and then put the shoes back first so they're more organized and then all the clothes back. So that is the plan. So this is the current situation. We've got shoes, boots, trainers all along the floor here. On the chair, I've popped um, like sets and shirts. This is all the stuff that is going to vintage, so a very small pile. I am going to go through all of this as I put it back in, just to double check that I want to keep it. And then a bin bag for a couple of shoes and stuff that were just rooted. Um, and now I'm going to go through all of these piles. So I've hoovered all along the bottom here, so it's all fresh and clean. It doesn't look that clean, um, but it's a very old wardrobe, handmade old wardrobe. So I'm going to start popping all this stuff back in now, get into a nice colour order. I normally go light to dark in each category, so that's what I'm going to do. So that is the wardrobe done. I'm going to close that up and I will show you the after i think at the end of the video i'll do everything in one go so you can see the results of all the little areas that i am tackling next up if we come around here i'm gonna go for my makeup drawer so this is what it currently looks like a bit of a state i'm gonna take everything out reorganize it clean it all clean the drawer and then put it back in i think there may be some stuff in here that I need to get rid of maybe some like new unused bits that i can pop on my vintage for you guys um i'm just gonna go through it all and we shall see so i'm just sat on the edge of my bed and i've laid this old towel down to put 
all the makeup on so that it doesn't go on my clean white sheets and i've got my wipes here these are the best ones by the way they smell amazing summer fruits um so i'm going to clean everything with that and organize it all on this towel and then pop it all back into the drawer in some kind of order I've actually got a few bits here that I'm going to pop on my Vinted because I've gone through my makeup drawer now and they're completely unused and I don't use them. So I've got this palette from Hourglass which is super pretty. Really nice like blush bronze shades. There's a couple of highlights in there as well. So I'm going to put that on my Vinted. Also got a Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I've already got one of those and I've got two new mascaras as well. So I don't need this one. So I'm going to pop that on my vintage. A couple of Bare Minerals lip glosses. I love these shades, but they're just too dark for me and I won't ever wear them. Um, I then have the Refi Brow Pomade. I have one in medium, which is still in the box, and then one in dark, which is completely unused, but I just don't have the box for it. Um, so if you want any of those beauty products, go and check out my Vinted. I always leave it linked in the description box of all my videos, so it'll be down there. Now onto this hair drawer, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, I'll show you it. So it's got my hair wrap in, and it's not even in the box, look. And then just a mixture of combs, brushes, scrunchies, a few products at the back there. So... Yeah, I'm going to go through this now and then I've got all the drawers under my bed to do as well. So we have my air app in here, I've just given the case a bit of a wipe. I also have the... Um, travel bag which i keep in here as well and then everything else that i use for my hair i've laid out on the bed so all the products that i use for styling so we have olaplex number six which i always put on damp hair some dry shampoos ghd bodyguard which is one of my favorite um heat protectants also have this one by sam mcknight which i love the moroccan oil one um i've then got this grow gorgeous um like defense spray which i always use on wet hair and then if i am curling with curling tongs i'll use the ghd curly ever after my brush is here gotta take the hair out of them so they're nice and clean i've got a little box of scrunchies and then hair bands and clips and then up here we have my Gizu products, the oil had actually leaked a bit slightly, so I've wiped all of these down. I've got the hair perfume here as well. Got my pomade from Way, And then in here, I've just put some smaller silk scrunchies because these are the only ones that I ever use on my hair. So I've got rid of all the rest of them. And now I'm gonna put everything back in here. So in this big black chest of drawers, I have kind of a mixture of everything. I have, have my underwear in here. I won't show you that in too much detail socks in here i have swimwear in here then in this side tops and the bottom drawer jeans now as you can see this is all fairly organized i actually did it yesterday but in here this is just like a complete mismatch of everything this is the kind of drawer where i just shove stuff in i've got my snow boots in here i've got so much jewelry i've got my led light mask i've got my journal i've got my jewelry box basically i just shove stuff in here when i don't know where else to put it so i'm going to go through this and then i'm going to tackle these drawers under the bed but yeah this one first and then we can finally move on to the bathroom so this is my jewelry box at the moment it's a little bit of a state um it's just from amazon but it's really good it's got like all these compartments in um but i've got jewelry in here from years and years ago that i just never wear um so i'm gonna go through it all probably have to throw some away like look at this tiffany bracelet it was silver when i first had it and it's gone all gross and gray now um so yeah, I'm going to go through all of my jewellery in here and I've got lots of new Monica Vinader pieces and Astley Clark pieces that I am going to pop in here and just make it a bit easier for me to use so I can reach for it on a more regular basis.
So jewellery box is looking really nice and organised now. There's quite a few bits here that I'm going to pop on my vintage. Quite a few Asti Clark bits. Um, just because I don't wear them much anymore. My jewellery collection is now really quite small. And I just don't change my jewellery often enough. I still have some gorgeous pieces in here though. Like this ring which I completely forgot about. It's from Asti Clark. Um, obviously it doesn't go on this finger but so, so beautiful. What else have I got in here? Oh, this is a new edition from Monica Vinader. Got my bangles here, bracelets, lots of lovely, lovely earrings. Forgot about these little huggies as well. These are also from Asti Clark. So, so pretty. And then under here, I have all the stuff that I don't wear as much. Um, so I will link this jewelry box in the description box because it is quite good actually. So I was gonna tackle the drawers under my bed now, but I'm kind of running out of time. I wanted to be done by four o'clock today and it's 10 past three already. So I think I'm gonna be doing the drawers under my bed way into the evening, but I thought that while it's still light and to finish off the video, I would come into the bathroom and sort through my skincare drawers. So the top drawer here is mostly the skincare that I use every day. Some of it has leaked here, which I need to clean up. Um, so a lot of Elemis, a lot of Ren, that kind of stuff. These are the products that, like I said, I reach for every single day, morning and night. Got my skin in me, of course, in here. So I need to go through these. Some of them are nearly finished. Some of them actually I don't use that often anymore, so I'll pop somewhere else. But um, I want to go through this and clean out the drawer and then put them all back so they're nice and organised. Then underneath I have this drawer, which is a little bit of a mix of everything. I have like my toothbrush, my deodorant, my retainer and stuff in here. But then I also have like lots of tan products, a few mitts here at the back. I have my SPFs in here, more face pads, little muslin cloths, like body brushes. There's loads of random stuff in here that I don't really use that much, so I'm gonna go through this as well. I also have this little stash of products up here. This bag is full of like new beauty products that I've been sent that I want to keep and I want to try, but I just don't have room for in either of those drawers. Um, I've got these little necessaire minis that I want to keep for when I go on holiday. Also got this more Evixa box, which I'm thinking I may give away. Um, I love Amora Vixa, but I've already got so many of their products and I just don't have room for this box. Molten Brown Hand Wash, which will replace this by Radio Vetiver once that's finished because there's not much more left to go on that. And then down here, I also have a load of hair care products. There's some body care as well underneath here and all my fake tan. Um, these little baskets, by the way, are from Amazon. I saw that Molly May got them um, ages ago, like a year ago, so... I thought I'd get them and they're quite cute. Um, so I need to go through all of this kind of stuff as well. While I'm in here, I thought I would show you some of my favorite skincare products that are new um, because I've been trying out some different bits. Obviously, I've spoken about Skin and Me a few times, so that is number one. I'm loving that at the moment. I have one hormonal breakout just underneath my lip here. But other than that, I mean, I've only got tinted moisturiser on today and a little bit of bronzer um, and blush. So my skin is feeling really, really good. It's really healthy and that is down to skin and me. Another product that I've been loving, I briefly mentioned Amora Vixa before, but I've been using the Even Tone um, in the evenings and that has really kind of evened out the skin tone on the bottom half of my face. I do get a lot of spot scars around here. So this has really, really been helping. Thoroughly recommend that. Also in the bag of goodies, I've been trying out this quarterly um, like face mist. It's like a beauty elixir. You can spray it on dry skin, you can spray it on wet skin, you can spray it on after you've done your makeup. It's like a setting spray. It's a bit like the Amora Vixa Queen of Hungry Mist that I have been using for years. But I absolutely love the smell of this, it's gorgeous. Also been really loving the Kate Somerville Hydra Kate. This is the daily moisturizer and it's got water cream in it. And I love this. It's been so good for my skin when the weather's been a bit colder and it's been dry. So absolutely loving this. And finally, I spoke about this in a video before, but this CeraVe oil cleanser. This is amazing. It's a hydrating, like foaming oil cleanser. So it lathers really well. It's so good to use as like a second cleanser. I always double cleanse in the evenings. Um, and this one is great for that. I do sometimes use this in the shower. This is made to be used as like an in-shower cleanser, which I think is so great. Um, often I do, if I'm in a rush, I will get in the shower with my makeup on, take this in with me and take off my makeup in the shower. And it's so great to get a step of your skincare done 
while you're in the shower so absolutely love this super affordable as well so those are some of my skincare faves at the moment i will leave them linked in the description box i'm gonna get on with sorting out this top drawer first and um, by the way this jumper that i'm wearing obviously is neem bing it's new they very kindly sent it to me so i'll leave that link down below um yeah let's tackle this drawer first So I have literally been doing this all day. It's now four o'clock. Um, my mum's just bought me up a snack, look at this. Chocolate chip muffin and a Diet Coke. So I'm gonna eat that now. Well, I'm gonna eat it in a second, but before I do, I thought that I would show you guys where I'm at. Um, I think I'm gonna finish here because my back is really starting to hurt and I just feel exhausted so I'm gonna leave it here and there are a few bits that I wanted to do still I may do them later on tonight I don't know if I can really be bothered um, but I thought that I would show you what I've done because I promised I would show you the afters so here is my wardrobe as you can see so much better all my shoes looking really good at the bottom there so we've got dresses first and then shirts then jumpers trousers shorts and skirts in the middle there and then on this side coats jackets and blazers so i am super happy with the way that that has turned out it was really getting me down not being able to see my shoes so we've made a good bit of progress there next up was this chest of drawers and first was makeup and this is what it looks like now um, I'll pop a little befores actually on the screen so you can see. I'm super pleased with this. So we obviously have my brushes in here, which I haven't changed. Then we have like primers, um, some skincare as well that I use every day. Foundations, concealers, bronzers, blushes, highlight, primers again. These are all eyebrow products in here and like lash serums. Eye products uh setting powders and then these are all lipsticks and then at the back here we have my palettes and some eyelashes there as well and then this was my hair drawer this is how it's looking now so i actually put my hair up back in its case where it should be um we've then got some straighteners and a curling iron back there all my hair products that i use on a daily basis claw clips brushes some more clips and then scrunchies and then little scrunchies in this pouch here so super happy with that obviously i showed you my jewelry box but this was the drawer that it came from i've just got one monica vinader bag in here my journals got this little toy that i gave to my grandma that i didn't know where to put so i've just popped it in here because i want to keep it i didn't show you this before but um I also organised this drawer, which has got like sunglasses and some excess perfumes and stuff in. And I've also got my camera stuff behind there. And then like my purse and some gum and masks and hand sanitizer, that sort of thing. Um, and this is just like a bit of an everything drawer, but at least it's nice and tidy now. This big old pile here is everything that is going to vintage. So we have quite a lot of skincare stuff. Some Saint-Tropez goodies, Bare by Vogue tan. La Roche-Posay, Kate Somerville there as well. This Amorovix box, I'm still undecided about what to do with. Um, we also have a couple of pairs of boots, blazers, jumpers and stuff as well. And then if we go into the bathroom, this is my skincare cupboards. So this is the first one. All my kind of everyday products. I managed to put some new quarterly ones in here that I wanted to try. Also the Kate Somerville products that I wanted to use more of are in here now as well. And everything is sort of in order, but it's so easy to see that it's really easy for me to pick out what I want. I know it's kind of crazy that I say that these are the products that I use every day. I obviously don't use all of them every day, but I use all these products maybe once a week, once every two weeks. So it's good to have them all laid out like this, easy to get to. And then this drawer, I've got like my toothbrush, my deodorant, that kind of stuff in it. I also managed to fit everything that was in this black bag up here into these two, two drawers. So I did get rid of quite a few bits that I don't really use. And to finish off in the bathroom, I just organized these little baskets a little bit. Um, I didn't really throw anything away, it was more just kind of reorganising. Got my sweet little rose here that um, Tom bought me for Valentine's Day and you take the petals off and put it in the bath. So I might actually do that later because 
I'm exhausted and my back is killing me. I think I just strained my shoulder a bit reaching for my pajamas in the back of the drawer. So I think I'm pretty done for the day. As you can see, the light is kind of going. So I'm gonna leave uploading to Vinted until tomorrow and get all this stuff on there for you guys as soon as possible. As I mentioned, I will leave my Vinted account linked in the description box. It's in the description box of all my videos in case you ever wanna shop anything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a bit of a mismatch and it was very spontaneous that I decided to vlog it. So I hope it was enjoyable. I'll be back in a few months with my wardrobe switchover which i'm so excited for i cannot wait for spring and the warmer weather i'm so done with winter now i just want to change i want something new um this was kind of like my pre spring clean so i'll probably do another deep clean just before spring when i'm sorting out my wardrobe and changing everything around i'll try and link as many things that i've showed in this video in the description box but but if you did see something that i haven't linked or i mentioned something that i haven't linked then just leave me a comment and i will get back to you if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like if you're new to my channel i would really love it if you guys subscribed we're getting ever so close to 30,000 subscribers now i'll probably do like a little giveaway or something maybe like a zara gift card or something when we reach 30,000 subscribers so stay tuned for that hopefully it's soon thank you for all the lovely comments and all the support as always and i will see you guys very soon with another video bye